Hey there, Chimus Chimus Salt here, playing some Skyrim Season 2. This is my character. And here we go. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Mm. I'll just stand over. Can't be in the woods. The woods can be so peaceful this time of year. Good hunting. I like the camping in the woods one. Ooh. Oh, flag. Day to go camping. Yeah, I'm recording with OBS right now, and everything is with OBS. The picture is very dark. I have to turn the contrast up in editing. what that is. I have no I have no idea if I can change her. That was y'all's Christmas. That's pretty good. I went to my, uh, my boyfriend's house. My, um, there, his sister, his niece, and his and him opened up presents, and they have their um, place laid out like um, the doors on one side, and there's a couch beside it, and there's a wall with a window, and there's another couch on that wall. And across from the door, there's another couch. And they had presents for on from each one of the kids on the on there. And afterwards, they gave me a present. It was a, um, a blanket, headset. And two giant ass candy canes. And when I say these things are giant, they're uh, six, 
60 uh, milligrams They're very fucking big I just gave him two on accident They're like three feet long and they're half ounce of it is a serving size Damn faithless imperial. Oh, that's right. There's 60 ounces. I was thinking milligrams. They're 60 ounces. Their uh, half ounce is a serving size, and it has 60 calories in it. So you can deduce how many freaking calories and how big this thing is. We'll show those faith. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. And the, uh, the cover is like a very plush, fluffy cover. My sister, Gerda, runs the mill in Riverwood just up the road. I'm sure she helped you out. Probably best that we split up. But I wouldn't have made it without your help. If you would actually run at a decent pace, I could keep up with you. Stop and go bullshit you're making me have to do. You know, you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire. Anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means. It's only. You know what's really funny? The, um, war is supposed to be one of the main quests along with Alduin, but the, um, the way they present it is kind of like a side quest because it um, kind of changes the entire game. Not in a way that would see that ruin up there. We falls out. Never understood how my sister could stand in the shadow of I guess you get used to it. Easy, just don't look up. Or just murder all the Draugr and bandits there like I'm gonna do. I can walk regularly, but it will not work with him. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the 13 ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's legs. Go ahead and see for yourself. I always pick the warrior zone. this axe. I'll do New Year's Day. I went up to my local Harris teacher to use their internet with my Glad boyfriend. We're almost to because my mom has not paid the internet bill in three months. So I haven't had to deal with that and 
for the like, first month, my computer was able to hack through the internet because if it doesn't ask for the password and you automatically connect, then it will still let you use the all 90% of the internet services. I mean, you can't like um, download some stuff. So if stuff needs internet, it won't read any service. Every day we get visit. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Yeah, so I've been having to deal with that, but after my cat knocked over the internet box, it broke. So until I'm on page the internet, we can't get internet. We, even after that, we won't be able to get internet until the box gets fixed. But is it safe for you to be here? You break that anything Are you hurt? What's happened? And who's this? One of your comrades? Not a comrade yet. No, I was kid, you little bitch. I owe her my life. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's a town in the news from help in the next few years. And again? Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. Oh, come here a minute. I need your help with something. What is it, woman? just gets home and you just belittle him with questions. I'm fine this if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Oh, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rayla. So I got a new setup. It is a, um, blue mic, blue mic pop filter, and a blue snow ice. I'm changing here. Some of the settings. Oops, voice, music. You two look pretty well done in. Yeah, you know, it's a lot better. I can't remember when I last slept. Where to start? Well, the news you heard about Alfred was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was two days ago now. We stopped in Helden this morning. And I thought it was all over. I was lined up for the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards. They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then. Of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a being with life. I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it the river? Yep. Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger here, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need. 
Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Oh, good. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Yeah, can, can you, like, take off your clothes and bend over for a second? There is something you could do for me. For <laughs> all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Okay. Nice. You could count for it. Did I get a new uh, signs mod? What do you want? Oh, you shit, this is it. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no! discovered no adventures no theatrics no thief chasing well what are you going to do then huh Done talking about this. Continue on. Continue. Discover. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. Sorry you had to hear that. Took you a while. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I can help you get the claw back. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northwest of town. So this is the your sooner plan, you Logan? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only <laughs> to the edge of town. All right, lead the way. I don't really need a guide. I've played this game so many damn times, I know where the fuck to go. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. 
The mountain just over the buildings. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Draugr. Mainly Draugr. No trolls, a few traps, but no, no. Mainly Draugr. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Thank you. I'll stop away with him first. Did him once. You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield sister. What's a shield sister? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Can I join? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in Gravaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. All right. In all the sky Do you have something to say? What? Where am I? You're in a barn getting rained on. Oh, it's you! I mean, what? No, I've never seen you before. I have no idea who you are. It's not like I've been stalking you or anything. I'm okay. I'm gonna get. Wait! Don't leave! I I'm injured! Uh, yes, injured. You have to take me with you. Otherwise, I might die, and you wouldn't want that on your conscience. You look all right. Yeah, well, that's because... Okay, fine. If you take me with you, I will make it worth your while. You won't find anyone tougher than me in Skyrim. Not to mention it's good looking. You're quite modest, though. Fine, welcome aboard. Haha, -ha, you are so funny. I'm just being honest. And anyone who says otherwise is clearly jealous. Can you name someone better than me? 
Yeah, me. I didn't think so. Anyway, thanks, I guess. So if you're tough and independent, why do you need my help? I don't. I thought I would help you out. I didn't ask for any well, help, Well, I was hoping you would kind of keep me company. Look, I know it sounds weird, but it's no fun on my own. You can tell me to leave if you want, but surely you can at least give me a chance? So how are you out on your own? Why do you stick and why do you stick that clues? Am I not allowed out on my own now? I had a little too much to drink. So what? I guess I must have passed out. I hope I didn't cause too much trouble. Actually, I'm not really that bothered. You alright? Of course I'm alright. Don't start fuzzing over me. I'm more than capable of handling myself. What happened to your clothes? <laughs> what? Oh, I have no idea. My memory is a little fuzzy. If you happen to have any, I would appreciate it. Oh, and stop staring at my body. It's like you've never seen a semi-naked woman before. Where do you want me to take you? I don't know. I'll just go wherever you are going. I will repay your kindness by fighting alongside you. Surely that's an offer you can't refuse. All right then. Oh, I haven't introduced myself, have I? My name is Sophia, but you probably already knew that. I'm quite well known in Skyrim, although sometimes I'm not sure if it's for the right reasons. I kind of see myself as an adventurer. Although it's no fun without anyone to witness my heroic deeds, such as... Well, I'm sure there's probably something. I like to get drunk, kill stuff, and be a nuisance. So, what about you? My name is Amber Rose Blossom, and I am a fellow adventurer. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I, I hope I to be of some use to you. I. I'm rather talented if I say so myself, so I'm sure there must be something I can do for you. Just let me know. So you're off to see the Yawl of Whitecomb then? Maybe you let me into the dragon's gate. The river and through the gates to see the white one. I might get away with it. Over the river and through the gates to see the Yawl of White one we go. Over the river through the gates to see the yarl of white one go. Good hunting. Hold. City's closed with fire. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. Have you met my father? Hmm. Until next time. Is this rain ever going to stop? Hello, child of Canada. What might you be looking at? Could you spare a coin? Need something? Oh, thank you! Divines! Bless your kind heart! There you go, you can buy half a loaf of bread. Yeah, the only thing I like about the war is that if you pick Stormcloak, he goes away. Or if you pick Imperial, it's Imperial, he goes away. But I like Stormcloak. say Elgin got hit by a dragon. Yeah, I'll be ready to all die. You guys swing your swords like three times and immediately get eaten by the fucking dragon. What would you have me do then? Nothing? My lord, please. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balbrath is not receiving visitors. I have news from Helgen about the dragon. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Dragon destroyed Helgen, and I was the last I saw it heading this way. 
by Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Slaughters my people. Send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my young. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. What's that saying there that and doing absolutely best. nothing? Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Farengar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Okay. Leave me out of your Apparently I got barbarian armor. It's one more than my first. Rongar, if you have something to say to the Yarl, say it with your too. own tongue. I'm so angry, he can hardly stand it. Come to Dragon's Reach to the... Hmm? What? Project? The Jarl can be found in the Great Hall, probably sitting on his Jarl's throne. Not over here Far in the Wizard's Yarl. Laboratory. I think I found some... ...who can help you with your... ...Dragon project. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. No shit, he said so. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. You well, lazy fuck. when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Alright, where am I going and what am I fetching? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Anything you can tell me about Be Bleak Falls Barrow? An old tomb, built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. How do you know the stone tablet is in Bleak Falls Barrow? Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Take a look. You know, if you've got the aptitude, now, you anything we can use to fight these dragon. dragons. Alright guys, I'm going to leave that episode here. Like, favorite, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter if you guys want to see more of this. Check out my Patreon. See you guys later. Goodbye.